So today we're going to share with you 12 of some really fun Christmas traditions that you can do with your family, with your friends, with your kids, whoever you'd like. Okay, so our first tradition is a pretty obvious and popular one, but I have to mention it, and that is baking Christmas cookies. I know that my mom and my sister, we have started a baking cookies tradition. This will be our third year doing it, so really not that long, but I'm so glad that we picked up this tradition. Basically, we get together um, a couple weeks before Christmas, and we will decide which cookies we're gonna make. So I'll decide which cookies I wanna make. I'll get the ingredients for those. My mom will decide which ones she really wants to make. She'll bring the ingredients for those and then we'll just have a cookie baking party and it's so much fun. It's also a lot of fun to get all of the little accessories for baking cookies. So for an example, a couple years ago I picked up this adorable apron. So every year that we bake cookies, I am definitely throwing this on. So before my mom and I were baking cookies, we actually had a different tradition, which was building gingerbread houses. However, it can be a little tedious. How we would do it is we would actually build gingerbread houses out of tons of different food ingredients or candy. So we would do like pretzels, graham crackers for the house. We would use frosting and then tons of candy to decorate. We wouldn't just go and buy a gingerbread house kit. We were a little extra with it. I would say maybe I was a little extra with it. I really like to get creative and I've made a few different themes throughout the year. I think I did like a farmhouse or a barn one year. It was like really fun. But you don't have to go that extra. You can definitely just pick up a gingerbread making kit at your local store, grocery store, Target, Walmart. And those are a lot of fun and a lot of fun to do with the kids as well. Something that my family and I enjoy doing every year is driving around and looking at the Christmas lights. So I know it's kind of early in the season now, but definitely once it gets closer to Christmas, that is such a great time to drive through your neighborhood or drive through like your dream neighborhood or just neighborhoods that you know are gonna have a lot of Christmas lights. And what we like to do is hit up Starbucks beforehand, get the kids some hot chocolate, get our favorite holiday coffee drink, and that just makes it even more fun and special. Okay, a tradition that is one of my favorites is getting matching Christmas pajamas. But I wanted to show you what pajamas we've gotten in the past. I had a few on hand still. Um, if they really outgrow them, then we usually you know, donate them at that point. But I want to say two years ago, we had this adorable classic plaid print with just the classic red and green and white. But I will say that last year, the pajamas we got last year are my favorite. We got this print with, I love how the background is white and then it just has like the super cute um, pattern with like the reindeer and the snowflakes and I just love it. I think it is super cute. Okay, so another classic and very common tradition you can do around the Christmas time would be to watch Christmas movies. Have little Christmas movie nights where you pick a different movie each night. Maybe make some hot cocoa, popcorn, you know, cozy up on the couch with your favorite Christmas blankets and just make a whole vibe out of it. Comment down below what your favorite Christmas movie is. Mine has got to be either the Elf movie with Will Ferrell or Four Christmases is a really funny one. I would say more for like the grown-ups, for the adults. That one's really funny and cute. Okay, so this next tradition has become very popular and very well known and that is the Elf on the Shelf. So, I'm holding the book right now because our Elf doesn't actually come out until the day after Thanksgiving. She comes back to our home the day after Thanksgiving, so unfortunately she's not here for me to show you her. But her name is Snowflake. Um, we got her, I would say probably five years ago now. So it comes with this big box, and usually your elf is displayed here in this box. I've just kept it over the years. But we love this tradition. Our kids 
literally look forward to their elf coming back each year. When it starts to get closer to Thanksgiving, they know like snowflakes coming, snowflakes coming, and they just love it. So it is definitely a tradition that I'm so glad that we chose. Yeah, definitely suggest doing Elf on the Shelf. That's a great family tradition. So speaking of Elf on the Shelf, another great tradition would be using an advent calendar. And the reason why Elf on the Shelf kind of goes with advent calendar is because I was actually sent this adorable Elf accessory advent calendar from a company that sells directly on Amazon. And I'm super excited to be using this. this December. So basically, I'm sure you know what an advent calendar is, but if you don't, it's kind of like a countdown down to Christmas. What's going to happen is each day we open up a box, there's going to be a new accessory for our elf. So maybe it is a shirt or a skirt, or I don't even know. I'm excited to see. So today I thought we would open just a few um, just to show you guys because we obviously don't want to open up all of them. I definitely want to leave the rest of them for the month of December. I'm super excited about this. And I definitely wanted to bring Penelope back in here so that she could help me open because I told her we had a little present. So let's go ahead and grab her. Penelope! Do you want to open the present now? Every day until Christmas, we're gonna open up a box, okay? One box a day, okay? Okay. And inside, inside the box, guess what's gonna be in there? It's gonna be something for our elf. Uh, snowflake. Do you remember Snowflake? Yeah. So, are you excited to see what is in the boxes for Snowflake? Yeah. Okay, let's set this here. You know what? I gotta get your picture. This is too cute. This is too cute, huh? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna open three boxes today, okay? <laughs> I'll let you open one, two, and three. So can you find number one? Mm -hmm. There you go. Good job. Okay, so you're just gonna press it in a little bit. Can you press it in? There you go. Okay, now I'll kind of help you out a little bit. Press it in and then you can kind of open it. Can you rip the, just rip the paper. No, not that paper. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I should have explained better, this paper. Oh my gosh, what is in here? <laughs> How cute is that? What is that? Let's look at the package. Okay guys, so day one. Cute little, looks like a plaid package. What could it be? Let's open it. I don't think it's plaid. I think that's a... It's a little sleeping bag. You guys, it's a sleeping bag for your elf. How cute. So Snowflake's gonna have somewhere to sleep. How cute. Okay, should we open number um, number two? Mm -hmm. All right. Number two, two, two. Good job. Look, it's right there. It has what? It says, what happens to elves when they behave naughty? Oh, okay, the answer is this way. Santa gives them the sack. Oh my gosh, that's silly. So each one looks like they're individually wrapped, which is super cute. What is that? Oh my goodness, could this be a skirt? Oh my goodness, it's a skirt for Snowflake. Look, just like, kind of like this skirt on that elf. There you go. Careful, careful. 
What is it? It's, uh, it's cute. It's like red and white striped. Mommy, look. Let me see. <gasps> you know what it is? Yeah. You guys, look how cute. It's a little apron. It's a little apron for the elf so she can bake cookies. Look, mommy has an apron right here. Look. So this is mommy's apron. That's the and this is the elf's apron. Yeah. So we have a little apron for our elf. We have a little sleeping bag. That's adorable. And then she has a little skirt. Okay, so this is so adorable. I feel like, how functional is this? You're gonna use these accessories for your elf. I know you can go buy accessories for your elf, but why not get this advent calendar that literally has 24 different accessories for your elf? This is so cute. This is a great alternative for an advent calendar. So I'm definitely gonna link this down below for you guys. I'm super grateful that this company sent this to us. We are gonna have so much fun with this this year. Okay, another tradition that's kind of obvious, but definitely still fun to do with your family would be decorating your Christmas tree or decorating your home. So I know every year I get really excited about decorating our home for Christmas. We've already started decorating. So if you'd like to see my decorate with me for Christmas video, I will link that down below for you guys. Okay, this is more of a classic kind of old school Christmas tradition, but going to visit Santa, maybe at the mall or wherever he is at in your area and getting pictures with him. But if visiting Santa is not your thing, then you could also do some family holiday photos. So maybe you contact a local photographer and get some holiday photos scheduled and those are really special to have. You can get all dressed up in your holiday outfits um, or even you can do a little makeshift photo shoot at home. That's always a lot of fun, especially when you have little ones or babies, put little Santa hats on them, get them in their little cute Christmas outfits and take your own pictures at home. That's always really nice to have. So one that has been a fun tradition for my husband and I the past few years is going to our friend's annual Christmas party. So this one is more for the grown-ups, for the adults. Obviously you could have a holiday party with children involved as well, but sometimes it can get really chaotic and stressful during the holidays and you just need a mom and dad day out and spend some quality time with your friends and every year we have so much fun at our friends holiday party. Each year we do a different theme. So one year we've done like Christmas pajamas. One year, like last year we did celebrities. So we had to come as a different celebrity or celebrity couples. That was a lot of fun. I highly suggest getting your friends together and start a holiday tradition of doing a Christmas party with your friends so that you can enjoy some time you know, kid free for a night and it's so much fun. So where we live, we have this event called Festival of Trees and it goes on for like five days. There's different displays of Christmas trees. There's like a huge display of different gingerbread houses. There's just so much to see and it's all Christmas and holiday related. They even have a stage so all of the local dance companies can come and they do like their recitals, like their winter recitals. And it's just really special. There's a Santa's workshop area that they deck it out, make it look like the North Pole. So there's tons of crafts for the kids and treats and it's so much fun. So maybe if you have an event in your area that can incorporate the whole family and just really get you in the holiday spirit, I would definitely check out doing an event like that. In the winter time, sometimes it can be kind of hard to find stuff to do. Maybe if you live in, in a colder climate like we do, we live in the Midwest, so we definitely get winters where it's cold and snowy. But we do have an area where you can go ice skating. They set it up each winter to go ice skating and it's a lot of fun. It's very affordable and you just rent your skates. I think it's like $5 and then you get to skate for however long you want. They have like a little concession stand, little hot cocoa bar, and that's a lot of fun. So just definitely doing something that's winter related and fun for the holidays, gets you out of the house, gets you active, 
and those make really great memories too. Okay guys, that is gonna wrap up my 12 Christmas traditions. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if you already participate in some of these traditions or if you've now discovered some traditions that you would love to try with your family. Let me know if you have traditions for us that we can try as a family because we always love incorporating new festive activities into our winter season. And we're just so excited for Christmas. Are you excited for Christmas? Yes. And we've already started some of these traditions, but we definitely have you know the whole month of December to get all this fun stuff packed into our schedule. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. And I really appreciate you guys watching. So thank you, and I will see you on my next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>